My name is Victor Ashley and I'm a real estate agent out of Seattle, Washington. This is how you get a hold of me. Also, leave a comment below, the snarkier the better. And while you're at it, hit subscribe because I cover a lot of different topics, areas, zip codes, and concepts that might be important to you. And I can be talking about your scenario or your neighborhood next. So let's get into one. I got a question the other day asking me about rent. And then uh, when I talked about it more and more, it was from a prospective uh, landlord. And I want to get into a little bit of a purchase scenario for you. Again, this is not their scenario, but this is something very similar to it. So let's get into it right now. I pulled up a just a random listing right now so we can use this as a basis uh, for our cost. We find, you and I, uh, we find a hypothetical house to buy, and that is this house. It's three beds, two and a half bath, 1170 square feet. And it's been on the market for 68 days. The listing cost comes out to $759,000. And then on a cost basis, uh, price per square foot is $648 a month. Now, it was built in 2007. And based on our ideas of what we can get for rent, uh, you decide you want to move forward with this. And you asked me to put together a rent idea for you. Well, uh, this is a decent looking house and it's going to be um, very, you know, this more than likely is going to be rented out by somebody. So let's get into it right now. I know that the rents in this area are $2.13 a square foot roughly. Well, that comes out to $2,500 a month. And I also did the mortgage payment for you on a second mortgage. The second mortgage means you have to put down 20% of the purchase price, as well as pay a 0.5% usually a premium on the second purchase. And what that would come out to is roughly a $4,300 a monthly payment. Now, as you can tell, the $2,500 and the $4,300, they don't add up. Well, let's uh, just go into it right now and let's just make these numbers add up. So this is a rental calculator. This is what is available to you and I have a link below in my description. But if you purchase this home at uh, $750,000 with a down payment, again, of $150,000 with today's interest rates roughly being at 7.65 and then the loan being at 30, uh, you pay minimal costs and you say, hey, Victor, I at least need to cover the mortgage in this right now. So the $4,300, you need to at least cover the mortgage. Okay, that's great. I wanna build a little equity. I already put my property taxes in here. We know it's gonna appreciate over the years, averaging about 3%, and we're gonna hold this for 20 years. So we're gonna put some money aside for maintenance and any kind of incidentals, and then we still have to pay insurance. Um, and we lucked out because there's no HOA fees. Let's take a look at what we come out at. Well, we have this really big number over here on the left-hand side. Uh, it says that we have a profit of, you know, almost doubling our investment after 20 years. But on the right-hand side, you're going to see something, and this is very important to go into. Uh, you have your income being at $4,300, the mortgage payment being at $4,260, and then you have vacancies. Vacancies happen all the time. Usually you're, uh, when you're actually getting the loan, they account for two months out of the year being vacant. Um, we're using 5% of the months. Uh, that's less than one month a year being vacant. So that's a cost of $215 annually. Um, and then at the same time, our property taxes, we have to pay those, our insurance, our maintenance, and then everything else. And our cash flow actually comes out to, we're losing about $1,000 a month. Well, if you look at it on a breakdown over time, you're also going to notice that you don't make money on this until year 10. And that's because you're not only losing $1,000 a month, but you still had your principled payment out there. And this is one of the things that gets lost on new landlords when they have uh, this kind of scenario or even people that are accidental landlords because you know they say, hey, Victor, a life event happened, life happens. I need to move somewhere else. Why don't I just you know put the house on the market right now as a rental 
and I'm just going to cover my mortgage. Well, things happen. Water heaters go out. Carpet needs to be replaced. Tenants decide to move out. Tenants decide then to stop paying. These kind of things do happen and you need to know them if you're going to be a landlord. And this is not necessarily a catch all, you know, conversation just for me to have with you, but this is just an idea of some of the things that you need to take into effect. And this is the reason why you need to have somebody like me to go through this. And if you have any questions, you can reach me right here and I'll be happy to talk to you about this. As always, it was lovely working with you today and I hope you have a fantastic day.